Um, first of all, how are the injuries and what was your take on the effort and performance from the lads? Yeah, I'll, I'll always praise my team on, on the effort side, but you know, we just spoke about some you know, defensive uh, stuff there that you know, we've been working to improve, like our, our D, and we thought there were some tries there, especially right before half time, that put a fair bit of pressure on us. Um, you know, and just little areas of our discipline needs to be better. So, you know, whether or not we go down on men, you know, I still think these boys are very capable of being able to make sure that points don't rack up like they did. Um, you know, and they're working hard to be able to make sure that they're they're better in those areas. So it's something there that, as a group, we need to take ownership of it and uh, defensively be be in a better place. You know, and the boys, you know, they don't. That's one thing I do love about the group is they don't take, uh, they don't look for an excuse. They just jump in and do what they need to. Um, Obviously, uh, we lost a couple there in our spine, um, but you know the boys trust each other to go out and do what they need to. And at times there, we just missed the miss the mark there today. What's the prognosis on those injured guys? Luca, hamstring, Zeno, yeah, yeah. Peck. Yeah, he's not too bad, but again, you'll have to have a scan to find out where that's at. Uh, and Jake, um, just around the concussion, so um, being a bit of a shorter turnaround, we have to assess that one. You're pretty firm on this one, Major. Some home truths were said in the in there about defensive lapses. Yeah, well, we need to be better than what. You know, that's too many points at this level to be a uh, to leaking. You know, and it's not like they uh, the boys haven't done the work to know that they're coming, but you know we've got to be capable of at that moment to stop it. You know, and we put ourselves in the position to stop that. We've just got to make sure that the people that are around that area need to do their jobs at that time. So uh, it's no different of putting on a play. It's defensive part of the game is. Yeah, you need to be strong. Cruel blow for um, Luke. He looked yeah. pretty um, good there just before half time, set up a try. And just yeah. you, you were sort of in it then to. Well, to the 30 minute, 30th, well, around the 35 minute mark, I think it was. Um, I think it was 12 8, and then they scored two tries at the back end, and that's what I'm talking about. Two tries before half time. It's just, you know, you can't do that. You know, we, uh, we put ourselves in a pretty decent position to be able to kick on, but um, yeah. Does last two weeks feel like a regression match? Like you had the high of the the Bunnies games and the Eels game, and now two results where the games kind of got away from you. Yeah, we've been in those games. It's not like we haven't put a fair bit of effort into what we're doing. It's just being able to make sure that, like I spoke about, there's just the moments in games that you you've got to concentrate at a higher level and you've got to be at a better, at a better state. Um, and that's where we, that's where this group will take another step forward into to what we need to do. Just on that, I think, yeah, it's, as Major said, taking a step forward, it's a learning curve because last yeah. week, same sort of thing happened. We're in it, we're going tit for tat, mm. scores a level, and then we come out and sort of let the scoreboard dictate how we want to play. You know, at some points there, we went down the field and, you know, we didn't play like we did in the first half. So, mm. um, you know, and I'd never put it down to effort. It's just, it's like we're trying too hard almost. We're, trying, we're going out of the system to try and do something good for the team, but at the end of the day, you've got to stay with it, you know, and you've got to put 80 minutes together. You can't just put 40 minutes and then hope for the best the second 40. So what frustrates you most guys going out of the system? Yeah, I, I think it's the fact that I know that the boys do know what they need to do. That's where the group's at at the moment. They do know that. Um, and it's being able to put yourselves into that position over and over to be able to, you know, to get the winning side. You know, we, we, we did that, as you said. Uh, it's a two very strong teams, so I know the capabilities of the team, but we've just got to make sure that the lessons that we are learning in those games are the ones we're taking into you know, what we just went through there as well. I just want to clear that up. I'm not out of pure, uh, not no effort, that's just boys trying to overdo, overplay the hand, trying to do something. You know, there's a team in there that want to work hard for the Jews, that want to work hard for each other. They do, they really do. The week's been unreal, everyone's putting in their training. Um, and just, just at some point you want to overdo, you know, and as a leader at some point for myself, I've got to look at how I lead and how I take the field, you know. Sometimes I might try and shoot out of the line or something like when it's not needed. So at some point, you know, again, it's putting 80 minutes of footy together and it's just trying to stay, you know, how we want to roll. It's, it's an 80 minute grind. Is it that caught a try? <coughs> what did you make of that, um, James? I mean, that was, I, I imagine for the middle forwards, he just ran straight through the middle of you. Yeah, well, that's that's what I, I guess sort of got us there at half time, you know, it's, and Madge kind of spoke about it is those, those tries where, you know, it's just, we, we, there's just no need for it. You know, we work hard for 35 minutes and then something like that happens. And then for some reason, you know, I, I talked about um, lessons learnt. You know, that gets in our head and then we're trying, you know, something simple like that and it just turns, just kind of dictates how we play. You know, that try with 
we didn't need that. Didn't need that right in the cusp of half time. We're going tit for tat. It's a close game. We felt we felt comfortable going down the field and putting our plays on. And something like that happens, and you know, again, it's a learning curve. Something in, inside of us, we just got to stick with it. Matt, you can't give a full time grab up every week, but was tonight the most honest you've been with the group this season in terms of that full time stuff? Uh, I'm pretty honest with them all the time, really. You know, and they're pretty honest with themselves. Um, yeah, you know, we can. Uh, look at what we need to do for uh, the next game, and that's what the players do. That's I, I do enjoy the, this group of coaching um, because they're pretty honest around what they need to to get done. You know, Jimmy's talking about it right there. You know, he's an honest appraisal around where, what we need to do, and that's what happens each week. James, how was the turf eighth game of the weekend? Uh, yeah, we, we kept an eye on it uh, throughout the weekend. Uh, it was fine. You know, it was by the looks of a, a good weekend of footy. Um, you know, I don't think there were t Brooksy with the hamstring, I guess, but uh, I don't think there were too many other injuries throughout the weekend. Uh, it's all about that. Does it get anyone back much for Friday? It's a pretty big game for both clubs. Uh, I think I will, but um, I just got to go through who that is. You know, Dave Nofaluma, AJ. Um, yeah, so we'll, we'll sort of assess that as the week goes. Cheers.